Welcome to Imagine Document Solutions demonstration of the Digital Drawer Document Management System. Today we will discuss adding new documents to Digital Drawer. There are two primary methods of getting documents into Digital Drawer. The first method will be used when you need to get just a few documents into the system. This can be done within the main Digital Drawer application. The second method will allow you to scan or import a large quantity of documents very quickly and label them virtually all at the same time. This will be done within a separate application called Digital Drawer Capture and can be a big time saver anytime you have a lot of documents that need scanning. First, let's talk about scanning or importing individual documents into Digital Drawer. At this point, we have already logged into Digital Drawer and are viewing the Property Files Library. To scan or import a new document into Digital Drawer, you can either drag and drop a file directly into the appropriate folder. or you can click the Add Document button at the top of the screen. From this screen, you can either scan a document directly into Digital Drawer, or you can click the Import Document button to import a file from your computer into the system. Once the document is displayed on the screen, you can label the document with the appropriate information. As you can see, when we selected 199 Comer Circle as the property address, the city, MLS number, and listing agent fields were automatically filled in with the information pertaining to this property. This feature can speed up the process of labeling documents tremendously. You can also grab information directly from the document by simply selecting the area in the document where the information resides. You can then paste that information into the appropriate field by right-clicking your mouse and selecting Paste. This can also speed up the labeling process as well as prevent you from misspelling information. This is very handy if there are complex numbers on the document, such as an invoice number. Once you are finished labeling the document, you can upload the document into Digital Drawer by clicking Upload Document. Once the document has been uploaded, you can either proceed to import more documents into Digital Drawer, or close the screen and go back to the document grid. As we mentioned earlier, this is how you can get individual documents into the system. In the event that you have a large quantity of documents that need to be scanned, which is often the case when you first begin using Digital Drawer, you will use Digital Drawer Capture to scan these files. Digital Drawer Capture is our tool designed to help organizations utilize the full speed of their scanner by allowing them to scan stacks of documents at once directly into Digital Drawer. The application then allows you to easily parse the scan pages out into smaller, logical documents for which the user can label virtually all at the same time. At this time, we have logged into Digital Drawer Capture and are viewing a batch of scanned property files. We have already scanned a stack of pages into the application by clicking Documents Scan Documents. In the list on the left, each numbered row represents one scanned page. The D to the left of the page number represents the beginning of a new document. These Ds can be easily removed or moved around by simply clicking your left mouse button. In order to get the Ds into the list, you can do one of two things. The most common way is to print out several of our document separator sheets from under the Tools menu. You can then insert the document separator sheets into the stack of pages in between the logical documents. When you scan the stack of pages into the application, Digital Drawer will recognize the document separator sheets and will add the Ds into the list accordingly. Another common way of doing this is to not use the document separator sheets at all. Instead, just scan a stack of pages directly into the application. At that point, what you will have will be a lot of pages with no document breaks. You can then manually look at each page using the down arrow on your keyboard to locate the beginning of each logical document and mark it. Regardless of the method that you use, you are able to scan a large number of documents all at one time instead of having to scan each individual document separately. 
This is a big time saver that will greatly reduce the time it will take your organization to become paperless. At this point, we are now ready to begin labeling the documents. This is a very quick process and one of the biggest benefits of using Digital Drawer Capture as opposed to some other scanning application. We will start by labeling the first document in the list using the exact same method that we used previously in the main application. As you can see, the index data that we just entered is applied to each page within this document. You can quickly label the next document by clicking the Copy Previous button, which automatically applies the index data from the previous document to this document. You then simply need to change the information that needs to be changed. Clicking the Next Document button will jump you to the beginning of the next document. We will now quickly label the rest of the documents using this method. As you can see, this is a very efficient method of labeling all of the documents that you have just scanned. This process can turn the most cumbersome part of becoming paperless into a quick and easy task. Once you have completed labeling all of your documents, you can then easily upload them into Digital Tour by selecting Batch, Upload Batch to Digital Tour. This concludes our demonstration on how to add new property files to Digital Tour. If you have any questions or are interested in receiving more information about Digital Drawer, please give us a call at 877-870-9514 or send us an email at info at